Hi everybody. Everybody, I'm back. And today at the Young's house, we are having ribeye steaks. Ribeye steaks with zucchini and squash on the side, mushrooms and onion on the side of our steak. Here's what you will need. <clears throat> so right here, I've picked out a very nice, nice and beautiful Private Select Angus ribeye steak. Okay? And you will need sazon. Today I'm going to put some sazon on this steak. You all that know me, you know that I love to use sazon. We're going to use some olive oil, parsley flakes, garlic powder, sea salt, cracked black pepper, as well as our squash here. We have zucchini and squash that I've sliced just like so. And when you're making squash and zucchini, you wanna slice it kinda of thick. See that? Not too thin, but not too thick, okay? See that? So that it cooks up perfectly. If you cut this too thin, you have a really loose, flimsy feel to it, and we don't want that. So then you cut it around about like that, and it turns out perfect every time. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. I'm just making a little bit because this plate is going to be for me. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. We're gonna do some onions and mushrooms on the side of our steak. What you wanna do, make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's go ahead and season up our steak, just like so. Let's take a little bit of oil. You only need a little bit, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take and rub this oil all over that steak. And what that oil's gonna do, it's gonna help for the spices to adhere to the meat, okay? So now let's go in with some garlic powder. Oh yeah. We're gonna put sazon on both sides. Just a little bit is all you need. A little bit of sazon goes a long way. Makes it taste so good, guys. You hear me? You never had this before, you better taste it. All right, there's that. Let's put some cracked sea salt on there. And make sure you season it. That's a big, thick piece of meat that you wanna make sure you get it nice and well seasoned. Okay? Cracked black pepper as well. And then what I like to do, I like to let my meat set out for around about 10 minutes with the seasoning on it so it can rest a little before it goes in the pan. If you think for one second that you are going to take this meat out of the refrigerator and put it directly into that hot pan, what you're going to see is you're going to come out with a tough meat. Because what will happen is if that meat's really cold, you put it in that hot pan to fry it up, it'll seize up and get tough. So let it set for a minute, okay? So turn this over. Well, let's put some parsley on there. Is the parsley gonna give it flavor? No, it's not. It's just gonna make it nice and beautiful. And you all that know me, you know that I love to make things look beautiful because I eat with my eyes first. Absolutely I do. I like for everything to look beautiful as well as taste beautiful. So let's put a little bit of oil on the other side as well. Just rub it in. There you go, baby. This is gonna be one beautiful, nice, juicy steak. You hear me? And I like to have mine's medium. I'm not really a fan of the well, well, well done, but I like just a little pink going through mine's. You know, that helps for it to be nice and juicy. Okay? So then let's go in with some garlic powder as well. Just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. You know what? It, let's see, the time is, is 9.21 p.m. right now. And I, we just looked at the weather and literally, guys, like seriously, it is 79 degrees outside at 9.21. We had such a beautiful day today. It really brought my spirits up. <laughs> Absolutely it did. Okay, here's this. Cracked black pepper, get you some on there. It makes it taste better. Beautiful. And we're gonna let this set. We're gonna put sazon on as well. Oh yeah, we are. 
just like this and we're gonna let it set seven to ten minutes before this even goes into that pan beautiful there you go all right so now what we're gonna do where I have let me show you how much oil see that there that's literally just a little tiny bit of oil but if you have a non-stick skillet that's all you need is a little bit of oil. This pan is gonna be for our zucchini and our squash. Now let's use two tablespoons of butter, okay? And we're gonna put this butter in our pan for our squash. And we're gonna to start to cook our squash up because I want for that squash to be done before my steak is done. I don't wanna to have to wait on the squash. So here's our butter. We're gonna melt the butter just like so. And I'm gonna show you how to cook the most perfect squash and zucchini. Someone had told me, they said, Gina, I used to eat squash, or they tried to get me to eat squash and zucchini as a kid and I didn't like it. Can you show me how to make it um, tasty? Maybe I'll try it again. So here we are, we're in the kitchen and I'm gonna make this tasty. I'm gonna show you how to make this the right way. See that slice, beautiful slice, nice and thick. Not too thin, not too thick. All right, we're only going to do a few pieces, so we'll set that aside. We don't want to put the veggies in the pan until this butter is nice and frothy and bubbly. And I'll show you what I mean when I say frothy, okay? Because the butter will literally start to froth up a little bit. So let's turn our pan on while our seasonings kind of marinate down into that beautiful meat. And then I'll come back. Okay, everyone, you can see how the butter is nice and frothy. That's what you're looking for, okay? And then we're gonna season up these vegetables, but we're not gonna season them just yet, okay? <clears throat> you wanna make sure that they all are on the pan and not on top of each other, because if they're on top of each other, they won't have a chance to get nice and golden brown. What'll happen is they'll get mushy, because they'll steam on top of each other, okay? So we put them in just like so. And then when we do that first turnover with our spatula, then is when we'll put so all you need for this. All you need for this because the butter is a flavor. This butter is flavor. All you're gonna need is salt and pepper. And we're only gonna season one side, okay? So we'll just let this go and then I'll come back. So now, <clears throat> Let's peek in at our beautiful steak that's been marinating. Beautiful. I wanna check my pan and make sure that my pan is nice and hot. You cannot put a steak in a cold pan, okay? Our pan is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and get our steak going, just like so. Let's see, I'm gonna heat my pan up just a little bit longer. Okay, everyone, our pan is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and put this well-seasoned steak right on in that pan. Oh, beautiful. And you hear that sizzle? You have to have that sizzle. If you don't have that sizzle, your pan's not hot enough. We're gonna let this get nice and golden brown, okay? And we're not gonna turn this. We're not gonna go in with a fork or uh, like a spatula looking at the bottom of it because this steak will indicate when it's time to turn it. What you'll start to see is a beautiful golden brown ring around the bottom, and that means give me a turn, okay? Now let's check in at our beautiful vegetables. The vegetables will cook quickly. Let's take a peek in at them. Now this is cooking on a medium heat, okay? They're not quite ready to be turned, but they smell and they look just beautiful. Absolutely they do. Oh yeah, baby. And what I don't want you to do with those vegetables, don't cook those vegetables too long, all right? And what I'm gonna do with these beautiful mushrooms and onions that we have is, I'm gonna throw the mushrooms and onions in the same pan that we have the steak cooking in after we turn the steak one time. Okay, be back. Okay, everyone, there's one thing that I want to talk about. <clears throat> if you have a good steak, all you need to season that steak up is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper will do the trick. Okay, I promise you. 
but only if you have a great steak. And so some of you might say, well, how come you're using the other ingredients? Well, it's just because I love the flavor of Sazon. I love the color that it's gonna give my steak. And I also love the flavor of garlic powder. Now, when I'm cooking my steaks on the grill, most of the time I'm only using salt and pepper, okay? And sometimes when I'm cooking them on the stove as well. Let's take a peek in at our beautiful vegetables that are cooking alongside. Let's take a peek at the bottom of them. Beautiful. I'll turn a couple and then I'll bring the pan close to you so you all can see what it's supposed to look like. Like I said, don't cook these things to death to where they turn into mush. All right, make them thick enough so that they're not thin. Beautiful, these are absolutely beautiful doesn't take any time to cook them. They always turn out perfect. Now's when we're gonna go in with some cracked black pepper. Oh yeah. And a little bit of sea salt. A little bit of sea salt is all you need because remember that butter has some salt in it. If you don't want the sea salt, then here's the thing. Don't put any in there and it's that simple. I'm just using that much and that's it. That's all you need. Steak is going beautiful. Now, our veggies are cooking on medium, and the steak is on medium high. You don't want to cook your steak on high because the outside will burn and the inside will never get done, okay? You don't want to cook it on low because it'll just steam. Be back. Okay, everyone, let me show you. My veggies are done. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Our veggies are done. This is how they should look. And this is how they should stand on your fork. Just like this, never limp. All right, beautiful. So they're nice and golden brown. You don't wanna get them too dark. Take them out the pan now so the cooking process can be over. And now we can focus on our steak. Okay, everybody, let's turn our beautiful steak. Take your time, you don't want any splashing, you don't want any of that oil to splash on you or anyone else around you. See that there? This is what this should look like. Nice and beautiful, my word. Look at this. Oh yeah, baby. Now here's the thing, I know, I know that you guys' mouth has to be watering because my mouth is salivating. Woo, that looks good. That's absolutely amazing. And you just let the other side go as well. And how I like to judge whether the steak is nice and medium well with me is I take my hand and everyone's hand will feel the same. If you tighten your hand up and you feel that part right there, that's what a well done steak is supposed to feel like. If you loosen it a little bit, medium well. You loosen it a little bit more, medium, okay? You understand, you get the drift, rare. Okay, do you understand? So that's what I do, I do, I really do. And when I fill my steak, I say, oh yeah, baby, it's ready. You know, it could, because I've been doing that for so long. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and put our beautiful veggies in. Right there. And they'll be done, oh yeah, they'll be done by the time our steak is done. Sometimes I will use a separate pan, but you don't have to, you know? You got a little bit of oil in that pan, you might as well take advantage of not getting another pan um, dirty. <laughs> Put it right on in there. It'll give you some extra flavor as well. Meaning that this oil that's coming from the steak, going into those vegetables, will give those vegetables a nice flavor. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I like to put a little bit of cracked black pepper on my veggies. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit, just a little bit guys, sea salt, that's it, that's it. I like to have um, A1 sauce on the side, so I'm gonna look for my A1 sauce and see where I have it at this moment. Sometimes I think that they hide stuff from me. <laughs> I'll go looking for something where I think it's supposed to be one place and it's not there. <laughs> and then I'll search and I'll search and I'll say, okay, it's here. Someone else moved it. 
All right, so let me look for my A1 sauce. Okay, everyone, let's take a peek in at our beautiful veggies that are cooking up just perfectly. Because I don't like for my veggies to be too done. I like to have them right alongside of my steak. Sometimes I'll put some on top. That way, when I cut down into my steak, I can have a bite of that mushroom and onion. If you're the person that doesn't like mushrooms, because there's so many people out there that don't like mushrooms, you don't have to use them, and it's that simple, okay? <clears throat> Let's feel. Oh, yeah. Mm, we're almost there. Ooh, I just tasted that flavor. It's absolutely amazing. And all of that fat that you see, that they like to call marbling, that's going all through that steak, that marbling will melt down. And it will, and the steak will fry itself in that marbling fat. And it's just beautiful. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Woo, I live for the steak fat, guys. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. I know. I know it's not good for you, but I love something about steak fat, especially when it's nice and crispy and seasoned. Woo, it's good. Oh, yeah. I get myself excited in this kitchen. <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Beautiful. I'm going to be taking this steak out in probably about three to four minutes. Okay, everyone, what I've done, I've turned the steak over one more last time. We're going to take this out, make our plate, and I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Okay, everyone, you can see that I have the A1 sauce on the side in case you want to dip it. And I always like to have something nice and fresh. I have this beautiful tomato. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a nice slice. I want to put this on the side of my plate with salt and pepper just for a nice fresh pop and also to make it nice and beautiful. Oh, yeah. Woo, look at this tomato. Isn't it beautiful? My goodness, that's beautiful. All you need is salt and pepper on that bad boy, right? The salt brings out the flavors of this tomato, and the pepper does as well. Look at this. A meal fit for a king or a queen. Make this for your king or make this for your queen, and they will absolutely adore it. You hear me? Absolutely, they will. May God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love time, your mercy and understanding, and your blessing. We pray that you send your angels down to surround us day and night. We pray that you send your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. And we pray that peace is still over our mind. Devil, you have no authority in our lives. Devil, you have no say-so. Devil, you are bound away from our family. Devil, you are bound away from my YouTube family. Devil, you have no authority in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this meal, the roof over our head, and the love that you give us. Amen. Ooh -wee. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But here, but here's the thing, and I'm so serious about what I'm going to say. You have to let your meat rest. <clears throat> I'm going to press the video on pause. I'm going to let it rest for five minutes, and then I'll come back. When you let that meat rest, those juices have a chance to kind of suck back into that meat, and you will have one juicy steak. If you cut it now, all your juices are going to go splat. Be back. Let's dig in. Now, a lot of you don't know that yesterday I did a video for this same meal. This exact same setup, right? I get to the end to where it says save the video. I can't save the video for some reason, right? So I try every option that I can. I try to find the video. It says you can't open the video. So I cried last night. <laughs> it sounds funny, but I really did. And I told myself I'm back for redemption. And here's the redemption. Look at this. Check it out. Check it out. I'm back and this plate looks even better than the one that I made yesterday. This right here is a steakhouse meal. You hear me? I could serve this dish right here for 21 bucks. You hear me? 
<laughs> Absolutely, I could. Let's dig in, guys. I love you all so much. I'm not going to get mushy. I know, I know, I'm not going to get mushy. Not tonight. Okay, let's give this a taste. Beautiful. Oh, it's in my house. Smells so good right now. Look at this. That right there, that's what I call beautiful. Beautiful, nice and caramelized on the outside. Just barely, barely, barely pink in the inside. This right here is one juicy steak. You hear me? Hey, listen here. You never heard me before. You hear me today. Look at that. A little bit, just a little bit. You gotta have some steak sauce. Give this a try and let me know what you all think. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, mm mm mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is it. What is this? It. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Mm hmm. Now, the steak is so tender and so juicy. It's amazing. Look at that. Give that a taste, you mushroom lovers out there. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Steakhouse approved, right? Steakhouse approved for sure. Mmm. Taste those veggies. I got some zucchini and some squash on this fork. Let's turn it around so y'all can see. Give that a try. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I'm not going to taste that again right now. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, listen here. I'm really cooking in this kitchen. I am really cooking in this kitchen, buddy. Look at that. There's that beautiful fat that I love. I love that. Give this a taste, guys. Let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Woo-wee. Yeah, baby. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have outdone myself today. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo, I got to taste another piece. When I get off of here, I'm going to sit down at my table, and I'm going to enjoy the steak. Look at that. Beautiful slices like butter. You hear me? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, you go, girl. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Mm-mm. Nothing like some fresh ice water to have on the side of your beautiful steak. Ice water will do the trick. Oh yeah, nothing tastes better than ice water, right? Mmm, mm-hmm. Let's taste that beautifully seasoned tomato. And then I'm gonna get off of here, guys. I got a video to upload. Mmm, mmm, so juicy. I love you guys. Have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Until tomorrow, good night.